So uh, with respect to Symbian 3, uh, it all starts with the home screen. I think it's become uh, now true that, that everyone uh, needs and wants not only a home screen capable of getting them access to the base call and communications information, but access to the various applications and services that are on their devices. And that also nowadays means multiple home screens. Um, multiple home screens that are capable of uh, fitting to the particular device uh, uh, capabilities um, that the particular device has. Uh, multiple home screens that are customizable and configurable by the user, so that means not just one or two that you can put applications on, but the ability to add new applications to a home screen as you want, configure the home screen, but also to add new uh, home screens, add pages to the home screen as you need. Um, the, the, the intention here is to provide enough uh, home screen real estate, if you will, as, so that no user is ever asking for more, which is something that you see an awful lot of these days. A big, another big part of where we're actually focused uh, in terms of uh, uh, next generation capabilities is experience, but more importantly, performance. And what you'll find is what we've done in the last uh, iteration of Symbian 3 is increase performance by roughly 3%, so 20 to 60 frames of uh, video improvement, overall graphics performance that is something like three times. Getting anything? Yeah, yeah. So, oh, classic, uh, classic kinds of interactions that you now expect on modern smartphones performing extremely well. I think when you see this on a device for the first time, you'll be very, very pleasantly surprised by just how high the performance is. Um, very clearly, these, these devices need to be uh, multi-function uh, uh, capable, and so... Uh, trivially being able to play and then go back to the phone and do whatever else it is that you want to do the phone, with the phone, whether it's, it's uh, look at favorite websites, browse other kinds of content, make phone calls, um, or otherwise, otherwise use the device as it was designed to be used. Multitasking has been something that has been a part of the platform from the beginning. So this is unique uh, in the industry that we've been doing multitasking on a mobile phone for something like five years. Um, what we haven't done is necessarily make it very, very visible to uh, any of the individual um, uh, users that multitasking is, in fact, available on the phone. That's coming much more front and center. What does that mean? Well, it means that you can run a search, you can do something that you might that might take some time on the application, you can uh, on the device, you can then go back, go do something else, and when whatever task that, you, that might take some time is finished, uh, it's right there and available to you, and you can quickly get to it. And by the way, this isn't a trick. This isn't uh, freeze the screen, save a bunch of state for the application, make the application go away, and then when you come back to the application, fire it back up again. It's true multitasking. Stuff's running in the background. Oh, so uh, another aspect of user interface that is changing is that we're finally doing the business of real you know, multi-touch screen uh, control. Uh, this is for capacitive touch screens as well as resistive touch screens, and it's, it's just checking a box that's needed to be checked with the Symbian environment for uh, a long, long time. Overall, I would say there's hundreds of little usability improvements that have been sort of driven through the platform, whether it's little things like lots of annoying messages being finally removed or really properly getting scaling right for the large number of devices that we have. But, but we feel very, very strongly that this collection of functionality does exactly what's needed to the overall Symbian platform, kind of bring it up to that level where everyone expects a modern smartphone to be, and maybe more importantly for Nokia, bring it to the broadest collection of devices in the industry. 